Kirk Nesset's anthology of short narratives, Paradise Road, predominantly delves into the lives of rural protagonists grappling with the complexities of love. Nesset's characters often find themselves ensnared by love, be it shattered by its force or embittered by its aftermath, while the narratives unfold around their sometimes ironic, sometimes absurd, yet universally relatable endeavors to triumph. Themes of betrayal, abandonment, ill-fated get-rich-quick schemes, and blurred perspectives permeate the stories. The collection's longest tale, The Prince of Perch Fishing, introduces two lifelong fishing companions entangled in a spontaneous encounter with a bewitching widow by the river. As the trio navigates a subtle love triangle, the plot thickens with the revelation that the men are also partners in a lucrative marijuana cultivation venture. Their aspirations for financial windfall become contingent upon cooperation, adding layers of intrigue. Narrated by one of the men, the story unfolds as his hopes for both his share of the profit and a chance with the widow diminish. Ultimately, the tale concludes with the narrator pondering the disruptive role of desire in disrupting stability and contentment. In Be With Somebody, Nesset explores the dynamics of a gay relationship through David and Perry, whose union is fraught with turmoil. Convinced that Perry is seeking casual encounters at a local nightclub, David impulsively tracks him down, only to be sidetracked by an unexpected encounter with Gwen, a faux bouncer, collecting fictitious entry fees. David eventually discovers Perry engaging in flirtation with a man who fits David's expectations. Instead of confronting his partner, David opts to engage in conversation with Gwen, who ends up spending the evening at their apartment. Upon Perry's later arrival, Gwen is clad in nothing but underwear and a t-shirt, sparking instant suspicion in Perry's mind, despite the absence of any romantic entanglement between David and Gwen. The story concludes with Gwen's departure, leaving David to ponder why he remains with Perry, convincing himself that change is possible in his partner. In the titular tale, Paradise Road, the protagonist, Don, finds himself fixated on his estranged wife, who recently left him to fend for himself. Residing on Paradise Road, Don spends his evenings meandering along the road, recording despondent messages to his wife. One night, he encounters a half-naked, emaciated girl, claiming to have been expelled from a nearby Buddhist monastery for misconduct. Don takes her in, boasting in his unsent letters about his restraint despite her advances. Unbeknownst to Don, the girl symbolizes his unhealthy attachment to his wife. Ultimately, following a series of events including the birth of his ex-wife's cult and the girl's transgression, Don makes a fateful decision to involve the police, momentarily grasping the gravity of his actions when prompted by the dispatcher. Kirk Nesset, the author, has penned two collections of short stories, Paradise Road and Mr. Agreeable, along with a volume of poetry and translations. Influenced by Raymond Carver, Nesset's literary works have graced the pages of numerous esteemed journals. He has imparted his knowledge at Whittier College, Allegheny College, and the University of California. Paradise Road clinched the 2007 Drew Hines Literature Prize. I hope you enjoyed this video, leave a like if you did, and be sure to subscribe thank you.